Hey, what's up, Jojo in the morning family? I hope you amazing people are having a superb type of day. I mean, a really, really good day. What I want to talk to you about today, it's going to be so good and we're going to have some fun, okay? I want to talk to you about keep growing, all right? Keep growing. I remember one day this guy came up and said, man, I'm just going through a hard time. I'm like, oh, no, you ain't going through a hard time. He said, I'm not. I'm like, you're not going through a hard time. You're growing through a hard time. He said, what do you mean I'm growing through a hard time? I said, because if you go through a hard time and you don't grow through it, you're going to have to do a retake. I tell you what, I never failed a class in school because I did not want to retake a class. You know, I didn't miss a day of school for five years because I didn't want any makeup work. I'm going to learn what God has called me to learn the first time. That's why I am such a quick learner, okay? I'm going to grow through everything. And in seasons of life, every season, in some way or the other, is a growth season. I will grow in every situation. I will learn in every situation. The Bible talks about wisdom, knowledge, and understanding so much. I want as much wisdom as I can possibly have, as much knowledge. That's why I read so much and, and watch so many different um, YouTube videos and listen to podcasts because I want to have the understanding to be able to grow through a season. That's why I say you got to keep growing. Let me explain it. When you're, when you're in the midst of a storm in life, now when I say a storm, I don't mean it's always bad. When you can feel that God is trying to level you up in the next realm of knowledge, you know, you could be learning some biblical principles that you've never been taught before. You know, you might be learning warfare or deliverance or the kingdom or healing or finances. And so you are leveling up. When you're in that situation that things might seem kind of tight and, and you know God is trying to grow you, well, that's a good season of growth. And then there's other times when calamity and things come in a different direction that we thought it was going to come at us. And so we have to figure out how to navigate through it. When you learn in every situation, when you grow in every situation, if something like that ever comes along again, you will have the proper mindset and you will know how to steward it. You will know how to walk in it and maneuver through it. Also, if you're mentoring other people and someone comes to you with something like, hey, I just went through that about five years ago. And let me tell you what I learned. And let me tell you how I got out of that situation really quick. And so you can use your testimony and your wisdom to help other people. But I've seen so many people in life that go through the same week, the same month, the same year, over and over and over. And numerically, they may be getting older, but they're not maturing in Christ. They're not moving to that next place. They're not getting promotions in life or at work. They're just not growing through every season. Every day of my life, I'm going to grow. I'm going to grow in some way, shape, form, or fashion, okay? Let me give you a scripture. Luke 6, 45. For the overflow of what God has been stored in your heart will be seen in your fruit and will be heard in your words, okay? Story time. Recently, I had two calls. And first call, somebody said, I need to talk to you about something. And I said, okay. And they told me what was going on in their life. And honestly, it, it was very small. It, it was little. It wasn't that big of a deal. But to this person, it was very traumatic. Why? Because that's where their mindset was. And I talked to them, and they said this. I keep going through this same situation over and over and over and over. Did I mention over? And I said two things. One, you do not have 
healthy boundaries with some people. And number two, you're not growing. You just go through the same season over and over and over again. All right. And so I was talking to them about how to grow through some things. My next call I had was with the gentleman and he's got multiple businesses and very successful business and successful family. And we we're talking about some things and at the end of, of the talk about mentoring in the business, he said, oh, can, can I drop a prayer request? I said, sure, man. His prayer request was absolutely huge. I mean, it was massive, but he minimalized it. He made it small because... He's gone through so many things, situations, circumstances, and trials in his life. And something that was so huge, he made it sound so small. The first call, this person had something that was small in my eyes, and they made it sound huge. The gentleman that I talked to second, he has a way to process things in his mind and in his life and navigate through it quickly. Whenever I'm in a warfare situation, I ask God two things. Number one, where is the warfare coming from so I can deal with it in the spirit with my authority and pray and believe, call intercessors to pray and believe if I need help. And number two, what do I need to learn in this situation so I can get out of this situation quickly so I can be at my best to continue to do what God has called me to do. So number one, where is the situation and the, the warfare coming from so I can direct prayers and attention to that and deal with that? Then what do I need to learn? Because the devil never goes to battle where there is no spoils. The enemy always fights when there's something he wants to fight for. But when we have victory, we can keep what we have or we can gain new ground. All right? So for the overflow of what has been stored in your heart, okay, there's things in your heart, okay? That means you're growing with God, but you're overflowing. And when you overflow, what happens? It overflows and floods everybody and everything around you. So people will want to become around you when you are overflowing, okay? Um, and then it says, that you will be seen and known by your fruit. And, and every time you speak, the overflow will be heard in your words because they're in your voice. When your heart is so full of, of the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding of God, it will overflow out of you and every person around you will benefit from it, okay? Now, if that is not the case, if Luke 6.45 is not happening, every time you speak, people will hear hurt, offended, unforgiveness, bitterness, shame, guilt, insecurities, fear. Then the type of people that hang around you will be those same type of people. See, what really comes out of your heart, you can see that people like-minded, like-spirited people are coming around you. My Recently, my wife had a, a women's Bible study at our house, and I knew what time it was over, and I showed up right, right when it was over. And a handful of different ladies came up and said, Hey, hey, Apostle Dawson. And right when they walked up to me, they shared, This is what I'm doing right now, A, B, C. Next person came up, Hey, Apostle, I just launched this video. Hey, Apostle, I just started writing this book. Hey, Apostle, I just launched this business. I just started. I just started. So when they came up to me, they were talking about how they're growing in things that we've talked about and addressed at our church. They didn't come up to me and talk to me about the weather. They didn't talk to me about a sports team or sell at a local department store. They talked to me about how they were growing because they know that out of my overflow, I could speak into their life, okay? Second scripture, Proverbs 27, 17, iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friends. If your friend group is not sharpening you, are they really a friend? <laughs> friends should bring the best out of you, not the worst. Let me tell you something. 
You may have some people in your life disguised as friends, but if they are making you worse, if they are making you bitter and toxic and making things harder on you, they are not a friend. They are an enemy. Real talk today. Real talk. Iron sharpens iron so a man sharpens the countenance of his friends. Um, I, when I see people walk in a room, they don't have to speak. Their face, their countenance speaks. I, I got some people that when they walk in the doors of our church, I just get a smile on my face. Um, I got a few friends, but when, when I see them, man, we just walk up to one another. We start talking. We've got a smile on our face because we know our conversation will make each other better because we are true friends, and true friends sharpen one another to be better and to move forward in everything that they are called to do. Keep growing, my friends, okay? A lot of people say keep going, but you can go through the same situation, I'm not saying that. I'm saying keep growing. And as you grow, things will shift in your life. Love y'all.